Howdy, Jacob here. Today we're looking at Cavco Industries and the household durables industry. 3.2 billion market cap on 2.9 billion enterprise value. Probably a good looking balance sheet. Growth has been very impressive, especially the last two years, but have declined because they grew so fast. They're still way above in revenue terms what they were pre-COVID. And outside of this year, their lowest revenue growth year over year was 4% and the highest was 47%. Gross margin of 24% is fairly consistent in that 20 to 25% range and an operating margin in the low double digits with a return on vested capital in the averaging mid-teens. So all looking pretty good. Looks like they design, produce, and retail factory built homes. Okay. Yeah, people are loving that with homes being so expensive as they are that this really... That doesn't surprise me. I do think that there's going to be some big competition coming up, but so far everything's looking pretty good. Balance sheet has 370 million cash like products with no short term debt, no long term debt, just 35 million capital leases. Looking amazing. Love that balance sheet. Cash flow statement shows pretty low capital expenditures with a great production of cash from operations. And the majority of the money going to share repurchases and acquisitions. So pretty quick review, I think. I'm ready to make some assumptions. I think on the revenue growth side, you know, I, I don't think housing prices, this is a personal perspective, has no, you know, meaning. I'm not pro- trying to project short term, but I do think in the midterm, I just think houses will go up with inflation, closer to inflation again. And I think... You know, maybe salaries will. I'm less knowledgeable on that subject. So I think people are going to be looking for more affordable homes. And I mean, people, I know there's more people living with their parents than ever. So I think this affordable homes thing is cool. Again, I do think they'll, this will increase competition because if you have a really good business making not great margins, but making a lot of money, it's going to acquire a lot of competitors. I think they're going to be able to grow at 6%, probably more than that, 7% easy. I mean, they're acquiring businesses, not necessarily reinvesting. It's a form of reinvestment from a product standpoint. And historically, I guess they have improved their margins. So maybe I'll give them a 17, slightly above market average P at the end of seven years. For margins, let's do, they they have been higher. Let's do a little bit of a range here. Let's do 10, 9. And for share change, buy back a bunch recently. 32 million is about 1%. So I think they can definitely buy 64, 72 million or so, which would be about 2%. I wouldn't want to go too much higher than that. But honestly, looking pretty interesting. 38% drop before you get the return I'm looking for here. I think this is an interesting company and one that I personally don't think will be too long before I do my research on. So. I hope uh, everyone enjoyed the video and has fun in doing their own analysis and enjoys the rest of their day. Thank you.